really. Somebody in your family have tons of necklaces that are all crumpled together and make a big mess. There's a certain individual in my family. I will not name any names. But my wife has a few necklaces. And this is what we're going to make. From that big clump to this. So today's project is going to be pretty simple. We're making a necklace holder for all those necklaces that are all strewn about all over your counter. I just found just a scrap piece of wood. Looks like some maple that I have. And I'm going to cut it down to three inches by 19 inches. That's how big my wall, my, the space on my wall is. Um, I created this template. You can see, you just cut it out and then it's too long for one piece of paper. So you just tape those two ends together, A to A. And then you can just glue that or tape that to your board and then just drill it. So I'll put a link down below in the description for this template. You can use graph paper or just print this off. I have it so it's an inch and a half on center. It's just, it's just nice having a little, you can see exactly where, you can see exactly where to uh, drill it. Um, you can make it bigger or shorter, longer, whatever you want. Just something, something pretty simple to, to make yourself or you can just download this and do it. But for the pegs, I'm using mini shaker pegs. I'll put a link in the description where I bought these on Amazon so you know exactly where to get them. Let's take it from there. Now I'm just gonna glue or tape this onto the board so it's my guide. I made it a little longer and I'll just chop that off later. Okay, so the board is ready. Just take a quarter inch drill bit and drill it down. So before you drill it, I'd recommend, because you can see there's crosshairs, I'd recommend taking a punch, putting it right on there and hitting it with a hammer a little bit. And that'll just make it so the drill bit will go in a little easier so it doesn't tear it up a little bit. All right, there we go. You can see I uh, added an extra hole there on accident. I'll just put some wood filler on that. Just crap happens. It's not how good of a woodworker you are, it's how good you are at covering up your mistakes. Okay, so now, now that I have the holes drilled, I'm gonna put like a, I'm gonna put a, a decorative edge on it. You can use your router, any kind of bit. I'm just gonna do a chamfer cut. So it's like a 45 degree angle. I'm just gonna do that on the table saw. So it's just gonna 45 degree angle part way down on each side and that's it. So then let's, so let's see how that works. So I did the angle, but I didn't think about the ends. I forgot about the ends. So I can't, I don't want to set it up like this. I don't want to do it like this because it's not going to be very sturdy. So I'm going to use my sled. I'll put a link in the description of how I made this sled. It's the best thing ever. So really, this goes back and forth, so I'm going to adjust it. I use the micro jig dovetail clamps and Things. But I'll put a description where you can buy this stuff and on the video of what I made. So, I love this jig. This is the best, best ever. Micro Jig did a really good job coming up with this idea. So I'm just gonna do a little trial and error to make it not line up with the other one. I'm just gonna clamp that down a little bit and just go from there. So now you can see we have, I think I did like a 40 degree angle. I can't remember. 
but it lines up with the other ones. Now we're gonna put the shaker pegs in. All you do is glue them in, put them in, and let them dry. There we go. Okay, now it's time to spray it. I'm just gonna spray it with a polyurethane spray just to kind of protect it because it's going to be in the bathroom where there's moisture. So, and I like the natural wood color, so I just use a, a clear coat on it. Okay, so now that we have our uh, command strips on there, we're just gonna peel off the backing so that it sticks to the wall. I mean, you can screw this to the wall if you want, but necklaces don't weigh very much, so I'm not gonna screw it to the wall. All right, so they are on. Just good. Put this on there to make sure it's level. Okay, so now it's level. Just stick those on. Hey, okay, now it's up. Okay, so when I put it on, I had the command strips like this, and it shook pretty bad. So I actually took that off and put the command strips vertical and put that back on so it doesn't wobble nearly as much. Just a, just a little note. Really? All right, now that I've untangled that mess. I've never even seen half of these. I gave this necklace to her when, she, when we were dating. Never seen this necklace. Some of these might go back in the box. That's kind of ugly. Must have been an ex-boyfriend. That's way better than before. Hey, if you could just do me a favor, click the like button, since the subscribe button, that really helps me out to grow my channel. And go ahead and push the notification bell so you can be notified of whenever I post new content. Hey, thanks again, and enjoy the rest of your day.